Welcome to Graft. In this video, I'll take a look at two things you can check in Adobe Illustrator when your clipping mask doesn't seem to be working. So as you can see, I have my artboard ready and I have a picture of a cute fox to show you a couple of things. So the picture of the fox is bigger than my artboard and I want it to be exactly the same size for which I'm going to use a clipping mask. So for this I'm going to take the rectangle tool and I'll make it the same size as my artboard. Now with my selection tool I'm going to drag it on top or you can use the alignment tools here um, in your layer window as you can see now the rectangle is on top of my picture and that's the thing you can first check the object you want to use as a clipping tool should be on top of the object you want to clip so if you would put your picture on top of your rectangle and then you would do make a clipping mask as you can see illustrator gives an error because it's not the right it's not in the right place so then if you make sure that you put your rectangle which you want to use to clip your image on top in the layers then you select both and then you right click and choose make clipping mask now you have clipped your image so first thing to check is the object you want to use to clip on top of the object that you want to clip. That's the first thing. Now, let's say you want to use multiple ellipses. ellipses. So for that I'm going to take the ellipse tool, I'll give it a stroke. And in the properties window you can say how big you want your stroke to be. This is just for being able to show you what we're doing. So now I have my ellipse tool. And I'll make an ellipse using my shift key to make it a perfect ellipse. Then I have an ellipse. Now, if I use my selection tool and I alt or option drag my ellipse, I can make copies of it. And I'm just going to make a couple of copies. So I have a couple of ellipses that I can use. And I think that should be enough ellipses okay now I'm going to select all these ellipses and, and drag them on top of the fox you have the ellipses you have your fox your ellipses are on top of the fox image because you want to use the ellipses to clip the fox image now if you would select everything and then press the right and right click to select make clipping mask you will get this so your multiple ellipses have now merged into one ellipse that's not what we want, so I'm going to Control Command Z. What you want to do is select all your ellipses for which I'm going to temporarily lock my clip group and just drag my selection tool onto the ellipses to select them all. You want to make these ellipses into a compound path for which you go to object, compound path, path, make. You make a compound path, you select everything, make sure your compound path is on top of the object you want to clip, right click and select make clipping mask. And now you have clipped your fox image into those circles. You can now also double click on your fox image and you can move it around, adjust it, make it smaller, just as you want. So you have a clipping group, press escape to get out of the isolation mode. And in the clipping group you have your compound path used as a clipping path. And you have your rectangle which you primarily used for clipping your image to the size of your artboard. So in short, first thing to check is the object you want to use to clip the object you want to clip on top of everything. That's the first thing. Are you using multiple objects like multiple triangles, multiple rectangles, ellipses, and you want to use them all to clip one object? Then first you go to object, compound path, make. 
and you make them a compound pot. Then you make sure you have that pot on top of the thing you want to clip. You select them both, you right click and you choose make clipping mask. So that was a short video on what you can check and what you can do if your clipping mask doesn't seem to work. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you liked it and maybe subscribe if you want to see more. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.